Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're gonna to look at the 2022 all new Tundra. This is the SR5, it's got a TRD Sport package. Let's look at some of the buttons and controls on the inside in a little bit darker, dimmer conditions. It's dawn time right now, so it's a perfect time to check this out. Tell me what you think of the interior, exterior, let's go. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna see the headlights, of course. They have the wraparound style here. They're very modern, and it's a good thing because it's been a long time since Tundra's been redesigned. You'll see the turn signal here really bright in your face so people can tell exactly what your intentions are. You'll also notice over in the side mirror, you'll see turn signal indicator as well, LED. It's very bright and it does wrap around so you can see it from the straight side and also angle and from the front. You'll also see down here, we've got these cool rectangular LED lights so you can shine through things Plus, you're gonna be the coolest person on the block. Let's walk all the way around the truck and you'll notice that the wheels have been upgraded. Well, since it's new, you might not notice that, but the wheels have been upgraded because it's the TRD Sport package. You'll see that big, almost like a fist punch. Cobra Kai, season four, out now. Sweep the leg, Jeff. This is in blueprint color. This is one of those colors that people really enjoy on a lot of different popular Toyota models. And now here it is, Tundra style. Ooh, look at that. Aren't you glad we're doing this today? Wow, there's so much to love, so much to show you. The other thing I wanna show you is, watch this when we open up the tailgate. Oh, we've got LED bed lights. got our floodlights and then along here we've got extra power so you can plug in and do work there are also tie downs all along this is a composite bed it's a one-piece design it probably will not scratch as much ding chip as much as just having regular blueprint color bed right inside under the microscope we're gonna be seeing that this has the crew max configuration, which means it has a larger cab space, larger back seat for folks. I really like the use of these handles right here because you can get up into it. Look all the way around here. And normally on an SR5, you would be seeing an eight inch screen. Uh-uh, this is upgraded to the 14 inch screen. I see some ambient lighting there, right? All right, so let's keep going. So let's start it up. This is a 4.2 inch multi-information display right there. And then as this starts up, you can see that this is a, it's looking for a profile. You can set up profiles and then it'll put your favorites in there, your settings even your seat settings, your radio settings, but there are a lot of different things that we can do with the vehicle. And again, it's all touchscreen, so it's really simple to use. Let's walk in on the passenger side. That's an extra storage pocket. And then we've got a longer pocket that's for really anything, some drink bottles. I could see you putting your high noons there, just kidding. JK, LOL. We've got some extra connectivity down here. That'll be useful. Got a little storage pocket. Again, this is at the darker condition, so it's a little bit tough to tell, but we'll be able to see what we need to see. This is lit up. Okay, let's go over here. Passenger side. I see a power passenger seat that goes forward, backward, up, down. You can twist it, back of the seat. And then look here, lumbar support. And I love this pattern here. It's got the white and the gray accents that kind of break up the all black that you might be seeing. It's pretty cool. Big chunky air vents here. They just look rugged, right? They look durable. Looks 
industrial. So now we see what's lit up here. And I always appreciate, to me, the more buttons lit up, the better. Clearly we have digital temperature controls. Also, we've got this one right here. That's the 360 camera. It's gonna show us what's around the vehicle. You think we can see anything else? Got the curb view. Pretty neat stuff. We can change the color to blueprint. Well, this is fun. I could do this all day. Well, at least until I got to all the eight color choices. So let's see what else is lit up here and what colors. We've got blue, window adjustments, mirror adjustments. Power folding mirrors right here. That's really cool. Great feature. Got heated steering wheel drawing power to the back. This is the one that you want to know if you want to turn off your engine idle, engine start stop. This is for the floodlight, automatic high beams. And then look here, we've got a leather wrapped steering wheel. It's a good size too. Not too big, very grippy. Looks sporty, like I'm in a track car almost. And then these are lit up as well. Phone, volume, voice commands. And then you've got radar cruise control and also lane departure alert features over here as well. Let's look a little bit closer with air it extra dry. Some pockets here, some bins. Hey, look at that. Lit up. Light it up, 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 light it up, up, up. I'm on fire. The other thing you'll want to know is that this actually right here, push this button or this button and you can open up the whole kit and caboodle, the whole shebang. What else do we have to look at here, Jim? Well, we've got two wheel drive, four high, four low. We've got different drive modes, tow haul mode. This right here is lit up a blue color. We've got the parking brake, brake hold, a lot to see folks let's start it up again look at this got our little red button here brake pressure now let's look at the different driving modes okay so we're gonna look at the different driving modes and what you do is you just kind of move it around here and I'll show you as I turn that rather chunky knob. Okay, we've got eco, got normal mode, and we've got sport mode. Depending on if you want more spirited acceleration, we'll call it, normal driving, or better gas mileage, your choice. And how we look at the multi-information display, we can scroll across the filing cabinets of information like that and when we want to dive down we just do that a deep dive in so let's take a look here we're going to go across lane tracing assist pre-collision system blind spot monitor parking sonar rear cross traffic alert road sign assist we got trailer settings hold that down you can select add a trailer that's really cool right Vehicle settings, we'll hold that down. The rear seat reminder, of course, reminds you if you've left anything valuable in the back as soon as you turn off the vehicle. So that could be of benefit to you. Settings, hold that down. Language, units, pop-up display, multi-information display off, default settings. Units would be something like kilometers per hour or miles per hour. So let's go across to the next setting. Next filing cabinet. That's if you have low tire pressure or maintenance is due soon. How far till you run out of gasoline, miles per hour. Total average MPG. How you're doing for an eco driving. Let's go across. Compass. 
lane departure alert and radar cruise control configurations, radio, and then look here. This can automatically select and figure out the length of the trailer that you have, which is really cool. And then when we get to the radio section, look here, you've got different songs. You can scroll. If I want rock, I would do the Beatles channel. I could do country. I've gone country. Then we've got heated seats down here for the driver's side and the passenger side, along with a USB port up here. And then I love this dial here. Can you believe that? A tune dial. It's got some substance. It's got some density to it. And then it's got this real cool definition to it. It just fits the whole Tundra persona. Very cool stuff. So this is the trailer backup guide here. Just like that. I've got my flashers on. Just want you to see this. And since it's a little bit lighter, we can see some of the detail in the front grille. This is a dark, dark grayish blackish design here. Color keyed accent. Tundra. And then look, here's our front camera, radar technology. We also have parking sonar on this particular one. Let's take a look at these wheels. Ooh, that's nice. That's a very nice. These are 20 inch wheels here. So it's the TRD black with red, multi-spoke design, six lug pattern. The boards, those are optional. They've been added. And then how we build our model for backup camera and overhead, we've got mirrors. I'm sorry, we've got cameras in the side mirrors right here. This has smart key auto unlock on the drivers and passenger front doors. Fuel mileage combines for 19, 17 in the city, 22 on the highway. Life is a highway. Hey, I got the sticker there. We should talk about that. Parking sensors in the back as well. There's a camera. Light. Now let's put the vehicle in reverse. It's like the cha-cha slide. Reverse, 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 reverse. It's very clear. If you've driven an older model Toyota, including a Tundra, you'll know the difference right away. Oh, mama, that's good. Woo! Crystal clear. What else can we see? You can see in front of us, behind us, along the sides of us. You can see the bed. Just seeing what we can push here. You can change your guidelines. See that? And then we can put it on auto as well. So there's a lot of things that we can do right here. Oh, boy, would that help with towing, right? And then up top, I can't really tell if these are lit up. I think they are. Home link for garage door programming. Then we've got, this is the back window. The dome lights, if you want them always on or not. Then we've got seatbelt reminders. We've got this right here for safety connect. These are push lights. Let's open up that window, shall we? It does it fast too. I like that it has hooks right here. Here we go, lighted mirror, does it have a slider? Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah, we can block out everything. Woo, baby! Let's look at the window sticker here. Tundra 4x4 SR5 Crew Max Blueprint made in San Antonio, Texas. We're still waiting for the safety ratings to be posted on the window stickers. This one here is 19 combined 17 city, 22 highway, holla. Nice to see something that has a two in it, anything. This is four by four, of course. And then look at the performance specs. 
has that 3.5 liter V6 engine, twin turbo, 389 horsepower, 479 pound-feet of torque. Hybrid is an option as well, which will give you bigger boosted figures all the way up into the 500s. Then we got a 10-speed automatic transmission. This has multi-link rear suspension. Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. Normally it comes with 18-inch alloy wheels, like I said. But it's been upgraded. I'll show you that. Here we go. All right. So normally this is 45.8. It has the advanced tech package on it, which gives you blind spot monitor, front and rear parking assist. We saw that. Boosted up the fuel tank size, 32.2. Panoramic view monitor, so you can see all the way around it. And then the trailer backup guide with straight path assist. All right. Premium audio has been added. 14 inch. Ba-boom. Holla. And it's got that cabin power supply and LED bed lights. Then we've got the extra mirrors here. Very cool. Very cool. TRD Sport premium package. 20 inch alloy wheels. TRD grill. TRD Sport bedside decal. Lowered sport suspension, so it's been lowered slightly with Bilstein shocks, red TRD engine start button, TRD leather shift knob. I'm, I'm going to read everything here. You can't stop me. Aluminum sport pedals, soft text trim seats, eight-way power adjustable front seats with two-way power lumbar, holla, heated front seats, dual zone automatic climate control, and color keyed outer door handles, and it has the heated leather steering wheel. So some of what we've seen is optional and it has been added. $15.50 to get it delivered to the dealerships. Each vehicle has something on it or nothing on it or lots of things on it. And it's done at the regional assembly point, wherever that is in the country for you. So it's been boosted up to 56.4. You've got the black aluminum running boards, Toyo Guard Platinum, all weather floor mats and paint protection. Where are we going with this one? 58,976. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. What do you think of Tundra? How do you like the lighting? That was what we were really doing today is find out what was lit up, what buttons, controls, dials, switches, side lights, back lights, every lights. Holla, woo, woo, woo. All right, everybody. I appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and like if you want to. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for being here. You guys are the best. Thanks for getting me to 100,000 subscribers. Never thought that would happen. Anyway, keep following my channel for more Tundra content, more everything Toyota content. We're approaching 1,000 videos on the channel. I try to be your complete Toyota resource. So, peace to the world, and you can follow me on Instagram at... Toyota Jeff One, and then my sister channel is Auto Jeff Reviews. We look at the whole automotive industry, all brands. We review just like we do here, just lots of brands, including Toyota. Thanks everybody, see you next time.